Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. This video, I'm gonna be showing you a small demo about a script score in Elasticsearch. Uh, perhaps in Elasticsearch, there are several topics, right? I have several videos, for example, ingestion is one topic, aggregation, searching. The next topic could be a ranking, right? So now ranking is again a vast topic. And again, I cannot cover everything, but I wanna cover a particular part of that, which is called script score. So um, this essentially example, I, I, um, I have a few examples for you to explain. Uh, so this here you will learn essentially when to use script score and how you can rank the documents essentially using script score. So here I'm taking a very simple example. I have an index called sample and I have a date field inside that which is called connection time. Essentially year, month, day, hour, minute, second. I'm gonna insert that. And then I have like six documents. I have documents in the month of January 2022, February 2022, March 2022, April 2022, May 2022, and 2020 May, okay? So I have these documents. And then I have some statuses, you know, for, for just like plain purposes. Okay, now the first thing that I wanna show is when should you use a script query? Uh, before going into demo, we should learn and know when shall I use this? So the script query is useful uh, if, for example, a scoring function is expensive and you only need to calculate the score of filtered set of documents. Okay, what does this mean is basically uh, when you essentially query your documents, right? Uh, let's say you queried, uh, hey, give me all the documents where the status is accepted. Once you get the document, after that, if you want to rank it, you can use script query to do that, okay? So a very nice example I want to show you. Uh, so I have used the log function here to score essentially documents. So as you can see here, I'm saying in the query section, match all. So basically I'm saying, hey, give me all the documents that you have, okay? And here in the script score, I'm saying a script, right? And if needed, uh, you could provide a field called language. Uh, this will be painless. Okay, if I run this, uh, so now look what I'm doing. I'm taking a field from the document that is connection time and essentially I'm computing the log on that. So I'm convert taking the date time object, converting into a mill list and then I'm computing a log out, out of that. I did the same in Python as well, just to verify the scores. So I took this array of documents, uh, date field. I applied a simple math.log and then I essentially, uh, these are the scores that I have. So what do you see essentially? This is the closest state, right? So closer the date, higher the score. Older the date, less, less score would be given, which means older document, the document that are old, would be given less score and they go more down in the hierarchy. So if you observe this carefully, I got uh, 5th, March 5th here, which was given 28.132. And if you go to 2020, uh, we got 28.09. So that's a difference, right, in a score. So that is that, right? Now, the next query that I wanna show you is essentially, will apply the scoring after you get the documents. Okay, here what I'm saying, okay, instead of giving all the documents, give me documents where the status is accepted. So I get the document, and after that, I wanna apply my date score. So if I do this, so as you can see, uh, number four came up, right? then number two, 2022 02, and then 2020, right? So uh, a very nice example that essentially shows, remember the script score always computes the script after the filtered documents. This is very important to understand. Uh, there is a field that you can provide called minimum score. So for example, here you can see this score is 5.12 and here it is eight, right? So if you wanna filter out documents, of course I have six documents, but if you have a lot, you can also put a threshold and you can filter down the documents. So here I'm saying, okay, give me all the give me all the documents where the status is accepted. Once you get all the documents, compute a formula on that, take the date time object and, and compute the log on that, okay, on the, on the timestamp. Once you do that, only return the document which is, uh, for which the score is greater than 5.13. If I run this, you get one document, right? So as you can see now, now essentially you're also learning how to rank these documents, right? Again, as I said, this is a very vast topic. Ranking is a very, very vast topic. I cannot cover everything in one day or a one video, 
But if you really want, there is a lot more. For example, you have saturation, sigmoid, uh, decay functions uh, uh, for date fields, right? Decay function for geo fields. Come here and I encourage everybody to come and read more about these stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I hope a, a small demo on script score was useful. I'll leave the snippets in the description section below. So uh, if you wanted to try that out, you can try that out. And if you want to go to their official website, go and read more uh, on script score. Uh, remember, uh, you also have function score, right? And script score. So you should know when to use a script score and when to use a function score. This is extremely important. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed a small tutorial on script score. And if you have any more questions on Elasticsearch, kindly post them in the comment. And as and when I get time, I'll try my best to get back to you. Once again, keep smiling, keep programming, and I would see you guys in the upcoming next video.